Hi guys, so today is going to be a quick review on the new Clinique Beyond Perfecting 2-in-1 foundation. Um, I talked about this in the haul that I recently did and I used it in the tutorial on this look that I'll link down below. And I said that I was going to do a review on it. I bought this originally, actually I got it as a 100 point perk from Sephora right when it first released. Sephora had just like four shades as a 100 point perk. I got the deepest one thinking okay maybe it'll work. If it doesn't work I can at least use it as a concealer since it's two in one. But this is actually my perfect shade <laughs> and it works amazing. Like I said I'm wearing it today. I believe it has great coverage. It just, it's very similar to the Milani but at the same time it's not. Um, so let's just talk about like the packaging. It comes in like a glass jar. I believe it has one full an ounce, which is standard. It does not have a pump, but it has this very unique applicator, which is just like an enlarged doe foot with like a slant at the tip, and that's like where the product kind of is held. And this literally allows you to apply it as a concealer it allows you to kind of dot it on blend it out as you would a concealer or you can just smear it all over your face like i do when you put it on as a foundation i think it has awesome awesome coverage it does say that this is a foundation concealer in one covers thoroughly with a lightweight feel naturally flawless look lasts all day for all of our coverage are used to spot conceal and it's an oil-free foundation and it says moderate to full coverage natural matte finish. Every last one of those claims are correct. It's a natural matte finish. I think it's more matte than like natural matte. Like natural matte to me still has a little dewy to it. This is matte. So it has a matte finish. It definitely is moderate to full coverage. If you have darker spots like myself that I mention all the time, you will want to do two coats what i did was put a full coat on and then i kind of went back and dabbed on like i put a full coat on and it was pretty much full coverage and then i did like my eyebrows and my eyes and then i went back and kind of spot treated the dark spots because once your foundation kind of settles in to your skin you'll kind of see especially if you have darker pigmentation spots hyperpigmentation you'll see that in those spots the foundation kind of gets just gets sucked in it gets absorbed into those spots and they start to show through so what I did was and what I I've started to do lately is to kind of put my foundation on and then go do my eyebrows and my eyes um and then go back once that is done the foundation has set and like I said I literally go in into those spots that you cannot see now at all I go back into those spots and literally take the little concealer take the concealer take the brush ooh, I have a lot on it <laughs> and dab 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 <laughs> and dab it on <laughs> so and then it just kind of I kind of like spot it out either with my finger or a beauty blender or even the foundation brush that I used and it covers amazing um so I think I believe this was $24 or $26 so it's for as for a I don't want to say high-end foundation but for a non-drugstore foundation I think that this is an awesome price I think it's high quality. I think it's going to work for a lot of different people. And Clinique has a very good color range. 24 is definitely not the deepest, I guarantee. And it's a ton of shades lighter than me. So I think that they have an awesome, awesome, awesome color range. And I just think this is convenient. You know, they have it at Clinique counters. They have it at Ulta. They have it at Sephora. Well, I don't know if they have this foundation yet at Ulta. I know they carry Clinique at Ulta, at least my Ulta. So I haven't looked to see if they have this one, but I'm pretty sure they do. And I think this is just readily, like, you'll be able to find it. It's not, like, super, super, you know, exclusive to where you can only find it at one place. I think this is going to be a great foundation. Personally, to me, I, like I said, two of my foundations to me are kind of like, eh. Like I said with the Milani, I don't know as far as concealer I would use it, but it, I love it as a full, like just a full foundation. I would use this as a concealer. I don't know if I would buy a whole bottle to use a concealer, but I mean, my MAC um, concealer, Pro Finish, my, my, my MAC Pro Concealer is $22. And it's like this, like it's like half of this. And if this works as a concealer, I mean, I don't, I mean, I could buy it in about two shades lighter than me and use this as a concealer. 
I think it's that good. So if you're into that, if you want to think about that, and I mean it probably would blend really nicely on top of this because they're the same conceal, they're the same foundation. So I mean I might give it a try. Um, maybe that, that's a good thought. I might give it a try. Um, and I'll let you know how that goes. But again, oh I didn't even tell you what shade I'm. I am in the shade 24 Golden. 24 Golden. That is moi. So if you're looking for a foundation that's a step above drugstore but still not a $40, $50, $90 foundation, I think this is the next best perfect thing for you. So if you try it out, let me know in the comment box below how you liked it. And if you like the reviews, give me a thumbs up. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button on your way out. And until next time... Bye, guys. Mm. That didn't work. Mm. That still didn't work. Mm. No? What the?